So I wanna to talk to you about knife sharpening. I'm an amateur and I literally just started with a whetstone about a month ago. Knife sharpening can take a lifetime of learning. So if you find yourself discouraged, just remember you want to start with an inexpensive knife to practice on. Pace yourself. Watch YouTube videos, how-to videos, read a book about knife sharpening. Go slow. Take it day by day. There's no way to instantly jump from being a beginning to a master. If you watch videos about Japanese knife making, or sword making, or German knife making, sword making, or, f or blacksmiths in America making knives, honing a knife edge is a refined art. It's something that you develop skills. The trick is angle consistency, so the grinding angle, because what you're trying to do on a double bevel edge is get the angle on this side to match the angle on this side. But just know that there are many different grinding techniques. There's rotary grinding stones. There's sanding belt grinders like the WorkSharp unit. There's the Lansky pivoting system, the Wicked Edge. There's wet stones, the ancient wet grinding technique where you move the blade at a fixed angle against the stone and precision grind the edge to that angle. With that, have a look at my wet stone and opening the Lansky kit. This is my first whetstone, uh, 1000 and 6000 grit. That's an 8x8 glass dish filled with water that I use for wet grinding, and that's the alignment jig down there in the bottom right corner. This is the new Lansky sharpening kit with the countertop holder for the unit, something that was highly recommended. All right, this is the alignment of the rod. So see how this sits flat? When you insert the rod into the stone, what you wanna do is get this so that the entire length is flush like that. And then while holding everything flush, tighten the thumb screw. And what you're doing is you're aligning the system. And this is important to get the blade angle correct. Pretty cool that the table mount can actually fit into the case just like that. So here's the resulting edge surface. We can see I nicked my fingernail. I also cut my pointer finger on my right hand. It uh, cleaned up the edge real nice. It changed the bevel profile to 30 degrees. I'm not sure what the factory cut on this Chinese saw is, but the blade appears much sharper now and seems to be sharpened really nice. I love this knife. This is my daily carry. You can operate one-handed like that. So they include descriptions of their other products in this insert with the grinding kit. You can see there's curved blade honing stones, there's a master edge knife sharpener, there's a double-sided sharpener. Here this explains that there's different sharpening angles and what they're useful for, showing you how to do it too. This shows the universal mount, the clamp mount, the new curved blade stones. Here's a special thank you bonus for your purchase. They can send you this discounted kit. These are the instructions. I put them here if you want to read them. Hit the space bar or pause at any moment to just read what it says. It's very important to align the honing rod and be consistent with your grinding. Take a close look at the blade too. You want to examine it as you're doing it. That's the company if you need to contact them, their phone number, email. There you go. Thanks for watching.
Remove fully tightened clamp from the case. Loosen the front screw four full turns with a dime or a screwdriver. Using fingers only, tighten the rear thumb screw all the way and then loosen two full turns. Place the knife in jaws of a clamp. Pinch the jaws of the clamp with your hand while tightening the front screw. Do not over torque the screw. Fully tighten the rear thumb screw to lock the knife in place. For best results, the gap at the back of the clamp should be equal or slightly greater than the gap near the front of the jaws of the clamp. Approximately 5 eighths of an inch of the blade should be exposed from the end of the clamp. If the hone hits the thumb screw, replace it with the flathead screw provided at the front of the case right there. For blades, approx for blades approximately one half and under wide, use the notch in, in the clamp. Position average or oversized blades beyond the notch and well into the knife clamp. See this diagram. Place the honing stone side down on a flat surface. Unscrew the wing. Feed the guide rod from the bottom up as shown. Making sure the hone and rod are flush when flat. Using finger pressure only, tighten the screw on the hone holder and hold the rod securely. Check the straightness and alignment of the hone against the flat surface. Be sure the rod and honing stone touch the flat surface along the entire length. If the rod is not level with the stone, bend it into alignment using light finger pressure. Beginning with the coarse stone, insert guide rod into the angle holder hole you have selected. Keep the stones oiled as you work. Do not apply oil to diamond hones. Start at the knife base near the guard and place the hone against the edge. Push the hone against the edge into the blade. While moving the hone towards the tip of the blade covering two inch sections of blades per stroke. Lift the hone and repeat, always sharpen into the blade. Sharpen one side first, then flip entire clamp over and sharpen the other side using the same number of strokes on each side. For longer knives, sharpen in sections, repositioning the clamp if needed. For extremely dull blades, sharpen with the coarsest hone available, then move through the hones using finer and finer hones. For slightly dull blades, start with the medium or fine stone instead. The finest finishing hone produces a smooth, polished cutting edge. Pay careful attention to the tip of the blade. It may need to be refined with a few extra strokes using each hone. If your hone begins to move more slightly, this indicates your stones are clogged with metal shavings, reducing the effectiveness. Clean with oil. The oil will lift the metal shavings from the stone where they can be wiped off with a rag. Clean diamond homes with soap, water, and an old toothbrush.